part that makes me like love it so much because it's like that that heart race and like <gasps> you won't do anything like that. I did parkour when I was in grade two, even before I knew it was a sport. But when I knew what I was doing and pursuing it, it was about when I was 10 years old when I saw like my first free running videos on YouTube. It looks terrifying and impossible. You would be surprised at what kind of things that your body's capable of just even now. Parkour doesn't have to be dangerous. Jumping off buildings is never a requirement for parkour. Teaching and learning how to move and jump and climb in, in with proper form, proper technique, and doing those things, it's all about safety. When I teach these kids, it's very like, honored to be a part of that journey for them. And to see that progression and get sustained is you know, one of the things that I love so much about coaching. So I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be doing flips and stuff like that when I'm old, but I don't think coaching is ever going to be something that I'm going to give up. I have a big passion for teaching it, and that's something that I see myself always doing for as long as I possibly can. Why am I passionate about parkour? I see it as you're, you're finding out the, the limits of what you know, humans are capable of physically. You're pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Things they're doing you watch on TV, it, it is impossible. <laughs> or it seems impossible from other people that haven't like done it, right?